Hello, everybody, and thank you, Hanna, for the short introduction. With this video, you saw what Familon is about. So Familon is a Finnish bedding brand creating sustainable bedding products for consumers and for professional business. And my name is Maikki Lukka, and I'm the brand manager of Familon. And today we are going to talk about the, our packaging renewable project. And now my dear uh, colleagues or, or my presenter colleagues, may you can introduce yourselves. Well, uh, thanks a lot, uh, of course, Hannah, to you too, to um, you, uh, Mikey, for uh, taking part. And of course, to Baptic. My name is Florian. I'm uh, working at WUPAC. Uh, here in France, we are a French company uh, specialized now for almost 30 years on the uh, packaging bag for the home textile industry. And um, we have been very glad to work on this project. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to it later on, I think. Okay, my name is Esa Torniainen. And Mikey, it would be great if I got to call you a colleague. We have been collaborating <laughs> quite a bit during the last year, so I think we can we can call each other colleagues. Yes. So okay. Mikey. Yes. So let's start. So, uh, Familon's main products are pillows and quilts, and uh, this is the starting point for our packaging renewable project. This is very traditional type of. Uh, pillow and quilt packaging consisting of different materials, many different components, most of them being uh, oil-based. Uh, there is like plastic, polypropylene, fabric, uh, ropes, metal parts, zippers. So very complicated structure. And uh, in, in theory, these materials can be recycled, but it's in practice, it's very, very difficult. So. As a brand, we had to do something. And, and uh, why we started the renewal project? First of all, the customers or consumers were asking for a non plastic solution for our packaging. And uh, as sustainability is one of Familon's core values, we couldn't like not to act. And as the first presenter, uh, that like packaging is a symbol of a brand. So this old symbol or, or this old packaging wasn't like symbolizing what Familon brand is about. So we needed to act. So what we were looking for was a simple, easy to recycle packaging solution. And, and it was very early stages of the pro project when we chose Baptic as our material. We were also looking for different, uh, different materials, some bioplastics, but we chose Baptic because of its properties. And also Baptic is a very suitable partner for Familon brand. And, um, the, the pack packaging concept that we created is like a, a bag and there, there is a banderole that is sealing the bag. And here are some um, pictures of the, of the pillow bag samples. And the design process here was like very much of like testing and crafting and sewing. Uh, I did it with my colleague Sari Leimi, our product design manager, who unfortunately cannot be here today, but I will say my hello to Sari from here. So with Sari, we, we did a lot of testing. And also here we needed the active collaboration from Baptic and Wubak. Without you guys, we couldn't have done it. And I think, Florian, you have some point of view here. So yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Mikey. Indeed. Um, actually, Paptic is a material that we have uh, crossed uh, two to three years ago now. So we've been in contact with Paptic ever since. And um, when you uh, actually contacted uh, us and asked whether we knew Paptic, I was really very, very glad because 
to be honest, we really fell quite in love with this material from the first start. And uh, we were glad to implement even our experiences that we had here on our home French market, uh, because we have been introducing those uh, materials here in France. And uh, so we were glad that we could work, work on it and pick it up from there. Um, in fact, you are fully right for the pillow bags. Um, it, it is much more easier actually to, to go on the designing process. Uh, as you can see on the pictures, those are flat items. So uh, in terms of um, yeah, finishing, it's much easier than on the quilt bags that we see later on. Um, so in terms of hygienic reasons, uh, for example, it was much easier on those bags to finish them. So, um, well, we have done a lot of sampling, right? Uh, until we found the right thing. Um, as the concept of um, Familon really is complete, it's really really a complete concept of going into a monomaterial item. Uh, actually, we have done something that we have done for the first time and it, it should be outlined. Actually, um, our bags are coming from stitched productions and we have used the yarn, so the thread that is used to stitch also from cellulosic materials so that the items that you can see here are really purely uh, based on wood fiber basically and uh, cellulosic fibers so um, yeah really really exciting project and um, i'm uh, very excited to see uh, to see the quills <laughs> yes. so we shall go forward and i must say here that, that we have been collaborating with with uh, florian and accent diffusion so like we were like <laughs> friends already so you have been produ producing also our old packaging so you knew the packaging industry and you knew Famillon very well so okay so here are some samples uh, and pictures from the uh, quilt packaging samples and uh, and as Florian said this was more difficult task so we tested a lot of different uh, models and structures but it was very difficult to find the, how we can put the put the quilt to new uh, public packaging and uh, afterwards uh, uh, we realized okay that our uh, our uh, our problem was here that we tried to like copy the old model of packaging that was made of plastic just to put it to public material but but here because the material was new, we needed to rethink the product inside the packets as well. So traditionally, the uh, uh, quilt has been uh, quilts have been folded inside the packaging, and we tried to do that first. But but our solution was to roll it inside the packets, and in that way we could get it fit into public bag. And the second phase of the part uh, of the design process was designing the banderol here. Like the idea was that there is a banderol that seals the back and closes the back. And we, here also we did a lot of testing. The banderol needed to be durable, durable enough and, and there had to be handle. And finally, we found the solution with, with Deas Smith, Finland, who designed the, the, the banderol for us. So on the right, you see the, the final, final design of the banderol. So there is a name on the front side of the product and the product name. And on the back side, there is like the more detailed product information. So this is the result. And by renewing and replacing the plastic bags of our quilt and pillow packaging, Familon will save 1 million plastic bags a year. And um, do you have something to say, Florian? And, uh, yeah. Lisa, at it, this point? It's uh, definitely a very, very good thing. It's, um, to us, this, this whole concept, this whole idea uh, to replace the zip 
uh, by uh, a system uh, and to really rethink the whole item is uh, it means really a game changer to us. I think the way of dealing with the visuals, with the marketing information that you put on the outside of the items by the bundle roll is really very, very smart. Um, you can change it from one product line to another quite easily, quite um, fast. Um, so it, it really is a very smart uh, solution. And um, yeah, uh, maybe we can also say that Sita um, was, was maybe talking about it early on. Um, by going into um, this monomaterial solution, um, actually, uh, for, for deciders uh, in companies, and um, it, we cannot only um, talk about the product costs, but we should also uh, have an eye on the indirect costs of our actions and our, our yeah, products. So I think that, um, in fact, in the end, uh, there are lower recycling uh, participation costs. Uh, of course, it depends on the country's regulations, but I think it will get generalized through the European Union uh, for sure. And uh, worldwide, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, so really, uh, we only have to think of um, the global frame and the global picture. So for us, those bags really, uh, in between us, they reflect somehow the purity of Northern design and of Northern nature. So I'm yeah. really glad that we brought it so far. Yeah, and then the whole the packaging renewal was a part of uh, our brand renewal, where we uh, when we cl clarified the core message of Familon, that is the pure Nordic sleep, and and this I think this is pure Nordic sleep, this kind of packaging. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy, Florian, you started to comment because I was speechless for a couple of minutes after seeing all those pictures of the sketches and the, and the demo uh, demo products brought brought back so many memories <laughs> this, this was an excellent excellent project and I, I think that the most important thing here is that that Famillon as a company made a bold decision to, to really not just to make a little bit better package but to jump into a total plastic free alternative it it was not easy, but but it was well. We were able to do it, and and we were able to do it quite fast. Which means that we had the right partners there, and like 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 Mikey already said, when you take a new material into use, you also need to think about the packaging design. Uh, it it makes no sense to just replace one part of the package with something else but if you want to make a big leap then then you need to rethink the whole whole concept and this i think is what what we did we had the same target right from the beginning we, we did we, we did not have any idea how the package would look like in the end but we knew that it would be renewable reusable recyclable and there would be no plastic components there so if we had four targets we reached four targets I think we did quite a good job. Yes, and okay. So let's come back to like okay here. The, the, this uh, picture pair visualizes very nicely the our end result. So okay, old packaging, eight components, difficult to recycle. To uh, this new one, three components, very easy to to recycle and uh, um and uh, Vamilon design philosophy is less is more and and we, with the packaging design we, we tried to follow and we followed this this uh, philosophy and and at the same time we realized okay like making things making less making things more simple is also making things more sustainable. And I think, Esa, you had some kind of nice thought here. Well, um, <laughs> we, we, have, we have heard today about recyclability and recyclability has been already today in this presentation been mentioned by me and Mikey and Florian. 
that's an important thing. And we heard an excellent presentation just before just before ours. And and the thing that maybe I, I wanted to point out here is not about the technical recyclability as such. All baptic materials can be recycled with with paperboard and 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 packaging paper. So there is no no problem. What comes to that? And of course, we cho did, did choose the, the, the end use in a way that the recycling streams and recycling systems would be available in all markets where we want to introduce baptic to that being the paper, paper recycling systems. But the thing here that, Mike, you actually already said is uh -huh. that when, when you simplified the, the, cons the, the package, now it's single material that can be recycled all together in the same stream. It just makes the life of the consumer so much simpler. Most people want to act in a sustainable manner, but most people are also lazy, that, that being me at least. So if, if the sorting is made too complicated, then people don't, don't do it. Yeah. In this yeah, case, yeah. it couldn't be simpler than this. Yeah, and it really like I think I hate like the mystery plastic coach on packaging. Like, okay, you should know like oh, to which stream this goes. For this kind of uh, recy recycling amateurs, that is like a nightmare. nightmare. For, for consumers that really must be so easy that it's like it, it the recycling doesn't need any extra effort for, for the consumer. And, and sustainable brands can help consumers to do this. I thought I agree. But now, would, friends, oh, sorry, Florian, go No, ahead. no, yeah, no, actually, uh, just really to fit into it, it's true that the packing industry really definitely must improve. So uh, it, today it's, there's still a lack of uh, industrial uh, uh, solutions to really uh, recycle every kind of plastics that there are. So uh, the solution to go to a fully recyclable material uh, such as PAPTIC really is a, is, a, is a great solution. So to us, really, uh, it is a perfect sustainable alternative. Yeah. Thanks, Florian. Hey, friends, colleagues, we knew that this would happen. We are running out of time. Uh -huh, of course. <laughs> so, so in, in, in this point, thanks to Mikey and, and thanks to Florian for the great, great project. Looking forward to work with you also in the, in the future. We will meet soon because after a short break, there will be a questions and answers session hosted by, by my colleague Han. So in this stage, Thank you and see you surprisingly soon. Thank you. See you very shortly. Thank you. Good. Welcome back. Nice to be here again, uh, uh, posing the questions and hearing interesting answers. At about the Formulon case. The first question comes from the chat and goes to Mikey. Actually, the second one too. So briefly, the current packaging solution is not transparent, and the earlier one was. How would you comment on that? Yes, we we are, we have been aware of this for the whole whole process, and I think that now we have changed that we have um, put. Um, like uh, detailed product information and the photo of the product in uh, backside of the packaging. And also I think this kind of packaging solution, this also requires that we uh, add more sample products to retailers for people to test the real, real uh, products there, there. Yes. So it was part of the planning. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good. Oh, and yeah. then this this is more about the collaboration. Maybe this goes to Wubak, who is is uh, focused on reusable and sustainable packaging solutions. So um, why not printing straight away the baptic material? Well, yeah, good question. Actually, it is all about the design which uh, of the brand. Huh? So for family, I guess it, it was to remain as simple as possible and as neutral as possible, as natural as possible. Maybe Mikey can just add a word after, but uh, for printing, yeah, you are fully right. Uh, the whole uh, idea uh, actually on this material is that we are pushing into a new era actually of packaging design, possibly because 
um, to print is very easy. So on the Paptic, uh, we definitely could print out brand uh, colors. We could print out uh, any kind of design, which makes it really early on, I said, it's a um, game changer for practical reasons, but it's also a game changer for aesthetical reasons. We can really put something quite fantastical on those uh, items. So it could be a very good idea to print, of course. Yes, and I, I can show that we have this small print in, in our packaging, but, but for why we didn't choose to have like um, the product info printed is, is uh, because of the production volumes. So, so we have so many different products, so it, it wouldn't have been wise in a production way. So it, it brings the flexibility in the, in the production. Yeah. And, and of course, one of the things that we, we discussed right from the beginning was that we should, in a way, have consumers to reuse the bag. And, and then should you have the product information on the pillow printed on a bag, you might not want to, want to use it. In, in your living room, for example, but but now that it's pure white, then it fits to any environment. But printing on, on Patrick is pure, uh, purely possible. For sure, for <laughs> sure. Most of the products that are, are made by using Patrick materials are printed and it can be printed with more or less any printing technology. Mm. Very good. So last question goes to Mikey again. Um, you said it quite nicely that we couldn't not to act when uh, thinking of sustainable packaging design. How did you how did you make it happen within the company? Because we have we have seen many examples that decision making can be sometimes difficult. Changes are usually difficult. How did you make this happen? Was it easy or mm. how did it happen? Uh. I think we we just we just pushed it and and, I, and we are quite a small small company and we are like I said me and my dear colleague Sari Sari Leimi our design and product development manager we we were like the pushing part here and and as I said I think the time was ready of course we have uh, we have done like uh, many sustainable other sustainable changes and steps with with Famillon brand so our actively pushing the thing forward and the, the time was right now i think that is the the answer here yeah please let me hear hannah uh, mikey um you are fu i fully agree to us uh, who are really concerned by this uh, Famillon is a, a pioneer on this because they pushed this concept really in whole, the whole batting industry uh, very, very far. And um, to get this far and to get this ready uh, really means some risk. But uh, <laughs> uh, to us, really, it is paying. And uh, it, it, I'm really very glad that we have been working together on this because uh, it is clearly a step forward. And the uh, future will tell that uh, the mono material items will get more and more important for this circular economy and for, uh, of course, customers to have an easy choice to deal with, uh, with the materialists. But Mikey, you did a very good job in the internal pushing because every person that I have met from your organization has supported this idea. So I, I'm pretty sure that everyone is behind this, this change. So strong belief and, and great minds are needed to make the change. And this is quite a nice example of a very good collaboration between the parties in the value chain. So I'm sure that we each, each, of, each of these three persons are happy to share their experiences and also, also to support you in making the change. So thanks very much for, the, for presenting the case, Mike and Florian and Esa. Welcome. Thank Good. you so much. So ending this session in these feelings and uh, happy faces and then going to the next one. So next one is public team, uh, exploring really the large possibilities that, that our materials offer. And uh, there will be then on stage Katja Jokiaho, Bruno Porro and Tommi Lehtisalo and hosted by our CEO, Tuomas Mustonen. So we'll be right back.